something so crazy, it's kind of controversial, but it was so dope. And, and I'm sitting here like, bro, you didn't introduce yourself yet? We did it! How you take it? How you take it? Take it black! Take it black. We gon' take it! We gon' take it! Take it back! What's up, family? My name is Bartholomew Jones. I'm an MC. I'm an educator. Yeah, and in the last couple years, I've actually become a coffee professional. I uh, started a campaign just trying to make coffee black again. Just that. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So, yeah, all right, back to the video. Hope y'all doing well today. Look, I'm giving my car detail. I had a couple seconds that I want to talk to y'all about something dope that I was able to participate in last week. My cousin came in town. My cousin's name is Josh. He's doing amazing things. Grew up in Memphis. Moved to New York to pursue his dreams with a couple of my other cousins, DeAndra and Brandis. And they're all doing super dope stuff in the fashion industry and event design. Crazy. Working with Nike is crazy. But I got a chance to hear uh, a panel that he brought together for an event called The Great Day in Memphis, uh, which is an event that he started in Harlem. It's in Memphis now. Uh, me and wifey went through and just got to hear some gems. So I wanted to break down something to y'all that I heard. The bar was this. One of the things that I wish I had known even 12 years ago when I started my business was to see the business and that knowledge. Not advice. Not encouragement. Mm -hmm. And all those things are great, mm -hmm. but they're not wisdom. <laughs> I went through an entire Nordstrom school with thousands of people to find this one woman to track her down and introduce myself and tell her I wanted a 30 minute meeting. Because I knew that she had wisdom I needed. And so now my thing is I chase wisdom if I have to. I will stalk wisdom, I will annoy wisdom, but I want it. Okay, yeah, so y'all just heard that, right? It's dope because the way society is set up right now, there's so much information that's free, but wisdom is super rare. Think about, like, what am I prioritizing? Like, it's so easy to get content or get information for free, but, like, I feel like because of that, wisdom is more scarce. And so one of the things I'm planning on doing, y'all know, like, our school just got closed, so therefore that means I'm out of a job. I think I'm tempted to pursue information in a way that almost could be dangerous and so I feel like this information that I just got, ironically, is super dope because I'm going to prioritize and chasing wisdom just as much as I'm learning about like SEO marketing or I don't know, drop shipping or whatever. Like I want to focus on wisdom because I don't just want information from random YouTube videos. I want relationships with people who have done it before and done it in a way. This was a bar that I didn't get to record, but my cousin talked about, Brandon talked about doing it, getting information or wisdom from people who have achieved their goals in a way you want to achieve it. Because there are multiple methods people don't acknowledge. There are multiple ways to get to the same destination. There's multiple ways to be an entrepreneur. There's multiple ways to drink your coffee. There's multiple ways to be a music artist. There's multiple ways to be a father, a husband, or an educator. But there's only one way I'm really interested in, and that way is rare, right? That way is God's way. And so as I try to pursue this and dial in my brew, you know what I mean? I want wisdom for people who've been doing it right and brewing it right for a little minute. Um, so yeah, fam, I hope that blesses y'all today. Seek wisdom, chase wisdom, annoy wisdom, do whatever you gotta do to get that wisdom. Uh, and don't stop, y'all keep that coffee. We did it. How you take it? How you take it? Take it black. Take it black. We gon' take it. We gon' take it. Take it back. We just tryna stay down, down, down. We just tryna stay down. We just tryna stay down.